He's coming, Jenks, he's coming. Yeah, I know, he's on me. I'm gonna need you. You should be weak. Um... Woo -hoo -hoo! Shit. Yeah, that was dope. Disrespect, disrespect, him, disrespect him, disrespect him, disrespect him, disrespect him. It's all you, it's all you, it's all you. Ooh. I bet. <laughs> oh, oh, oh shit, dude. Yo, I'll, t I'll take that gun, thanks. Apex Legends is the BR for Overwatch players. Listen, guys, if you enjoy playing Overwatch, I promise you that you would have fun playing this game. It is a blast. And listen, it's free. You've got nothing to lose. Give it a try. It's on PlayStation, Xbox, PC. You're crazy not to. Listen, everybody needs a little break from Overwatch every now and then. This game is a blast. I want to tell you about it, and I'm going to tell you why it is different than every BR I've ever played, and why I get Overwatch feels while playing this game. Everybody has that specific Overwatch feel. Like, I know if you're watching this and you're an Overwatch fan, you know the feel that I'm talking about. I get this from this game, and all my friends that were big Overwatch fans, they get that same feel. We were talking about this, and that's why I was inspired to make this video, because I think that I'd be able to relate the same feels that I have onto you guys and hopefully you guys feel the same way like I said the game is free so you might as well give it a try you, you know crazy not to it's, it doesn't cost you anything a little bit of time but anyways let me tell you why this game is different and why it gives me this overwatch feel so first and foremost there's different characters in the game different heroes they got different abilities, they got different roles. You've got DPS players, you've got tanks, you've got supports. Similar to how Overwatch has. And you uh, you make this team to try and build this comp that would make sense while you're playing. And it's super fun because each character has their own characteristics about them, different abilities. They've got this this charisma while you're playing. They've you feel connected to who you're playing. You know what I mean? Similar to how in Overwatch, you would feel connected with whoever you made in Overwatch, whatever you enjoyed playing, whether that be DPS, support, uh, tank, whether it be a specific hero that you enjoyed playing. Same thing applies here. And each character is so unique that you get a different playstyle playing each character. And they vibe together, and there's nothing that feels super weak, and there's nothing that feels super strong. It just feels good. It feels really good. And the... The game itself feels really good. Nothing feels clunky. Everything is so... It's got its place. Everything has its place. And it's just... It's a ton of fun to play. I want to talk about the heroes a little bit more. I'm going to put on the screen some... Uh, all the heroes. I'm going to talk about them. So first and foremost, my personal favorite, Bloodhound. And just like his name is, he hunts people down. That's kind of his, his gig. It reminds me of Widowmaker in a sense. His ultimate ability is basically the same thing as Widowmaker's. He's got a passive ability that lets him track people. And then his tactical ability, which is basically uh, an in-depth version of his passive. He just He's allowed to uh, seek people out. Kind of, it's just how his name is, Bloodhound. He, uh, he goes on the hunt. That's his, that's his thing. Then we have Gibraltar. This is like a hybrid of Reinhardt and Arissa. So his passive ability is that he always has a shield in front of his face when he's fighting. Then he's got a tactical ability, which is his dome of protection. Basically the same thing as Arissa's shield, but a full dome. Kind of like a, a defender titan if you play Destiny 1. Then his ultimate ability is a massive mortar strike. <laughs> like, it's crazy. And uh, then we got this lovely lady, Lifeline. She is super cool. This is who Chicken likes to play. This is a healer, a support player. He act she actually heals. Kind of similar to how Moira throws her healing ball out. Uh, ultimate ability, the care package. Basically, it just drops a big-ass care package down with a bunch of items in it for the whole team to, to loot. She's super fun to play. She's really good to have on the team. Then we have Zenyatta with legs and a smiley face on his chest. Another support. He doesn't heal people, but he's got a grappling hook like, Z like Widowmaker. Let's him fly around like a maniac. He's got a zipline gun, which you can zipline around, by the way. That's a thing in the game. Uh, it, he's a cool guy. I like him. Then we have Mirage. Both Mirage and Caustic you have to pay for or earn in-game. Uh, he's kind of similar to Sombra. So he's got like a he's got like this invisibility technique that he can uh, that he can do. It's his ultimate. He can go invisible, sneak up behind people, he throws out a bunch of decoys. Really fun to play. Very unique. This is uh a creative character, to say the least. Really fun to play, and you can mess people up with it. Then we have Caustic. Now, Caustic, I don't really know how to make a reference 
to Overwatch with him, but he looks like Roadhog, so we'll go with that. He looks like Roadhog. <laughs> He's cool, though. He's got a bunch of gassy abilities. Throw gas tanks out. It trips people up. Um... He's cool. He's got his own plays. Then we have Bangalore. Bangalore, super dope. She's kind of like Ground Pharah. Think of her like Ground Pharah, okay? So, she, uh, she's she got this crazy rolling thunder ultimate, similar to uh, Gibraltar, the other tank. It's kind of like a mortar strike. Really strong. Then she's got a smoke launcher, which smokes out the area. So, if a teammate's down and you need to save him, easy to do so. Last but not least, we have Wraith. Now, Wraith is like a... This is what you would get if Symmetra and Reaper had a baby, okay? Her ultimate is a teleporter, Symmetra's teleporter. Her tactical is basically Reaper's Wraith form, and her passive is really cool. Voices from the Void. She can, like, if you're wearing a headset or you're listening through your speakers, there's an audio cue if somebody is looking at you or somebody is close. So, super cool. Every hero, completely different, very unique, and really fun to play. So the nice thing about each character is that their abilities are so unique and when you're playing in the game, you can use the abilities to your advantage. So, you know, gunplay might not be your strong suit, right? But you might be a really smart player in the way you move around, but you might not be able to aim as well. And you know, that it is what it is. There's a lot of players like that. This is super good for you guys because the abilities that you have in this game allow you to keep up with everybody in the game. It's amazing. So. Not only that, but the gunplay too in itself is also really, really balanced. I don't feel like there's guns that are necessarily overpowered or guns that are insanely weak. I feel like no matter what I have at the time, I can keep up with anybody and that makes me feel really good. Now, I want to go back to the characters too. On top of all the variety with the characters, which... As you've seen, there's eight right now, eight characters, two of which are unlocked. You can earn in-game or you can purchase through microtransactions. Either or, on top of that, there is a ridiculous amount of customization. In ridiculous. There's so many skins for everything. Not only just skins, but a bunch of everything. Let me show you. So if you open up the Legends tab while playing the game, you can click on any of the heroes and you can see all the skins that you can unlock for the hero. Now mind you, this is a free game and this is what they have on release already. This isn't, like, they've already got plans for adding a ton more. Now each character has their own specific banner that you can show off, so when you're playing in game, you can show off all the achievements that you've earned playing that character. You got a bunch of quips. You can, oh, uh, finishers, by the way. I forgot to even talk about that. Each character has finisher moves. So if you wanna go over to a downed enemy, you can actually finish them. Now this is the same with every single character and every single character has unique skins and they're so cool. There's so many different ones and that's just the characters. That's not even talking about the weapons yet. Each weapon has unique skins. Now it's not like each skin is the same, but for different weapons. These are unique skins on all of them. And there's a ton, which is insane to me. Oh, I just bumped my mic. There's, it's insane to me how much customization there is in this game. It is incredible. So whatever you wanna do, you can customize your character to your fitting. And it, it makes you feel good. You feel like you're earning something. So you can unlock these skins in game or once again buy them with microtransactions. Microtransactions are going to be pretty heavy in this game because it is a free to play game. But the nice thing about it is that it's all cosmetic. All of it. Unless you want to buy a hero. But once again you can earn it in the game by just playing. And you don't have to win or get ridiculous amounts of kills. You just earn it by playing which is amazing. It, it, it makes it feel really good that they're catering to all audiences, whether that be like a really try-hard competitive player or just a casual player, you know, got off of work and you want to sit down and play a few games. It caters to a younger audience, to an older audience. The game, it just, it's got a really good feel to it. Like I said, it's the same feel that I had when I started playing Overwatch and I wanted to share it with you guys. Like I said, I, I talked about this with all my friends that I played Overwatch with in the past and we're playing Apex 
and we all have the exact same feeling and it's fantastic so let me know guys like if you have downloaded the game i know that a bunch of you have whether you've been watching my live streams on twitch i know a bunch of you have and a bunch of you do enjoy it but if you haven't why not i'm genuinely curious why why not i know that a lot of people don't like brs but i'm telling you that this just has a different feel to it completely different this does not feel like a br whatsoever so if that's your if that's you know your thing and you don't want to get it because it's a br i understand but give it a shot guys honestly give it a shot uh, I, w I wouldn't steer you wrong boys and if you don't like it then you know it is what it is but the game is free once again you can get it on playstation xbox or pc whichever platform you're on i do recommend it I hope you guys have fun with it. I really do. I know I have fun with it, and I'm going to be continuing making videos with this because I'm just having I'm having a blast with it. Uh, with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoy this game. If you do decide to uh, give it a shot, and I will see you guys on the next video. I lit them both up. I lit them both up real bad. Coming next. Oh, can't go that way. I stuck him! I stuck him! Yo, nice. that shotgun, dude. Got him. Oh. I had a yellow shotgun. Woo! Nice. There Fuck we it. go, boys. It's called That's the Mazzy game. Misfit. Dude, that thing was tearing people up. The Holy Mazzy fuck. Misfit? Yeah. Sick. Ooh, dude, yo, was that a big kill game? Dude. How many did you guys have? I had, uh, I think I had 10 at the end. No, I had 9, disregard. Bro, 24? that's a... We're, we're, getting, we're going up. That's a big I'm one. Bad. 24 kill game? Yeah, and dude, if I would have five more, we could have got 30. No. Dude, I stuck that guy at the end with my ninja star. His shield's gone. <laughs> Sick, dude. Great. That's a good game. But